Hey up troops, it's a little to near again with another video. Now, getting pretty cold this time of the year, so if anyone could do me a favor and pop these two canister Oh, nice one. Lovely. I just need a marshmallow over the top of this, don't we? Magic. Lovely and warm. Right, I'm not doing that for 20 seconds. Right, we're gonna look at Goyo. We're not doing an operator guide. We've done that already. If you want the Goyo operator guide, it's in the description below. However, this is just going through five maps with strats that are really good where Goyo excels. Even now, with Goyo having his 1.5, I still think he's criminally underused. The TCSG is an unreal weapon. The Vector is an unreal weapon. He has a C4, and he has four canisters, which do area denial for 20 seconds each. That's 80 seconds. Nearly a round and a half of area denial. But that deals decent damage as well. The guy's insane. Goyo's best used where there's a smaller area or a narrow corridor or a choke point, which stops the defenders getting through, but also just means you can not worry about that area for a little while. We go through a few areas as well where he's really good post plans, but there's five maps I'm going to show you in this example, and we'll go through them now. So without any further delay, <laughs> without any further ado, I think we know it's enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. So we're going to get started in the basement on bank as the first site then, and the old classic strat of opening this wall and planted sort of reversed in here right in the corner. It's a nightmare to try and stop. Let's hard breach the wall first. That's exactly how you do it. But yeah, on attack, obviously, a Thermite, a Banner Ace, etc. is going to open this wall. And they're going to walk in backwards like this and start planting the diffuser about here. Now, it's really difficult to stop because you can't really see them from a lot of the angles that you would normally hold from the rotate, which is here. I just opened that quickly. You can't see them because they're reversed in. If you were to walk in head first, then you can see the head and you can shoot them. But because they walk in backwards like this, it's really difficult to see. However, that's what we're here to counter. So the first thing that I would do is when this wall's reinforced... What we're going to do now, let's pretend that wall's reinforced. The first thing I would do is put a canister on the reinforced wall. Now you say, why? Well, two reasons. One, because we can't fit four on this wall. And secondly, because... The Thermite tends to open this wall late in the round. So even without any one of your teammates or even you destroying a, uh, a Vulcan canister, the one's going to go off automatically when the wall gets hard breached and is going to light this area up straight away for 20 seconds. Then we're going to put all the other three on this wall. So start as high as you can. Then move slowly down. You have to do a bit of wiggling because whatever this is, it like a sound pad or something. Um, it does get in the way when you're trying to place them. You have to drop down for the last one and then place it on a bit of an angle. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, when this hard wall gets hard breach, that's going to open for a start. So that's the area that they want to plant, and that goes all the way over to the right-hand side. Don't stand in it because it really stings. It goes over there as well and covers the door. This is the area you really want to cover. So, now you're playing um, fr from the rotate, for example. You can detonate them from the rotate, of course, but a slightly better angle would be um, from the garage here, you can open a long line of sight like this. And then one like this. I don't know if that's the right angle, but we're soon going to find out. Uh, slightly off. Just be a little bit further left. Obviously with a shotgun, this would be much easier. Now one, this line of sight is really good because you can hold this angle anyway. Uh, but also, you just, just quickly, you've got to watch no one's coming garage way. But if you've got garage here, you can hold this angle. It's good for holding the door anyway, but you can see there, now we can see the Vulcan canisters. So just make a mental note of where they are when you're playing Goyo, you're obviously going to know. So there's three in a line there. So you've got the, the bottom one there, and then you've got one above. If I open that slightly higher, you'll be able to see Ron guessing. Like so. And now from here, if they are planted on that area, you can see all three canisters. If we just run around and see what that starts... Uh, Starts burning. We're going to have to burn the toes here. Ah! As you can see, plant spot there. No matter where you reverse in, you start burning. And you can do that. Bear in mind, each one of these canisters is 20 seconds. I'm going to mention that a lot this uh, this video because it's a really poignant point. So I'm just not going to wait for that. We've made it through. So you've now got there, you've got 60 seconds. Plus the canister that was on the reinforced wall originally. You've got 60 seconds of waiting there. Obviously, if you want to, you can just detonate from the rotate. Um, there's a bit of a misconception that you can't detonate these from the side, but you can. This isn't even quite from the side. It's a bit of a an off angle, isn't it? But if you let me just show you that you can still detonate Vulcans from the side. And this will benefit you when you're on attack as well. Because um, even though they're armored uh, down most of the side, the very bottom is not armored. So if you're here, you see how even if we're, we're even slightly behind it here, you can still see the bottom there. Um, it is quite sort of tricky to, or quite fiddly to get the right part of the canister to destroy, but as you can see, it's destroyed. But yeah, that's the first one in bank. 
So as you can see, we're on to Villa now then, and this is all about defending the statue and trophy site, mainly when you're going to be playing Astro and Bathroom. Bathroom or Master Bathroom is a really, really high traffic area, and if you can prevent attackers taking control of this, you're generally going to be in a pretty good spot later in the round because it means you can flank around this way, and when the usual push comes from here to try and plant on the bricks here, you're going to be able to push around the side if you can keep up, keep hold of a Bathroom. So we want to try and do it, and, and the good thing about beauty... Uh, <laughs> the good thing about beauty... <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say then is the beauty or the good thing about Goyo, and I said both of them. The beauty of Goyo, the good thing about Goyo, is defending areas like this. Small rooms, which are fairly narrow, and the big spread of the Vulcan canister will cover most of the room. So anyway, without further ado, what we want to do first is you want to look at the main points of entry into this area, which is going to be from the window here and from this door here. So what I, I used to do before I started playing Goyo a lot was I put a canister there. Well, actually, that's no use because someone can just destroy that from the window before they get into the building. So, it will still delay them by 20 seconds, but you want to destroy it on your terms. So, what I've done instead is I started putting the canister here, which is just out of the line of sight to be able to destroy it from the window. That means then when I know someone's about to get fruity in this area, I can just pop the canister and that gives me 20 seconds to think about it. Then, for the rest of the room, you've got to jump on the side of the bath here. You don't get in the bath. You can't get on the You can't get, like, on the edge here. You've got to jump on the in line with the edge of the bath here, and you'll come up to here. Now, what in a dream world, we'll be able to put one on the wall here, but for some reason we can't. You have to put it on the edge of the bath. Just here. And then the next one, you can't put any more down the edge of the bath for some reason. No matter how you try, you have to sort of turn around, do a bit of um, sort of tightrope walking, and then stick it on the corner of the bath here. Try and open it out as much as you can to the line of sight you're going to have from Astro. So don't put it like this, because you're not going to see the canister very well from Astro. So try and try and open it out as much as you can. That's pretty good. For you to shoot an Astro. Give yourself the best chance of hitting that canister there. So we've got three, three down. The second one you can put here. Uh, sorry, the second one, eh? The fourth one you can put there so you can defend Astro stairs if you want to. Um, don't really worry about that, because that's something you need to think about yourself. Put it uh, Instead of taking C4s, Put a, a proxel on there instead. Anyway, we digress. So now we're defending bathroom. This gives us two, four, six, sixty seconds of, of delayed time for the attackers. And the first one we're going to destroy, obviously, is this. Completely fills the room with fire. No one's jumping through that window or coming through that door. Before you blow that canister, you can get aggressive and can get a fruity over onto this window from here. And you can defend this window. What that will then force people to do is come and ah, come and open bathroom window here. And then want to push it. I'm nowhere near the fire. Sorry. Uh, and then want to push in and uh, and get you out of here. So you can just don't like stick your head in the window because you're gonna get your head taken off. Um, but just irritate people a bit from there. Then pop the first one. And then when things start getting really hairy, back off. Pop the second one. Gives you another 20 seconds. And again, it just completely fills the room. No one's getting past there unless they want to take damage. And finally, the third one. But just don't obviously pop them all at once. Make sure you get your 60 seconds worth from each each canister. Uh, but that's a minute's worth of time, and I can't stress this enough that Goyo is outrageously good in areas like this, where it's a choke point in the map, the defender needs, sorry, the attacker needs to take control of an area, and you can just keep him out. It's unreal. So that's 60 seconds of time that the attackers can't step into bathroom for, or if they do step in, they're going to take damage. So yeah, just think about that. It's uh, anywhere where it's a sort of narrow corridor or, or choke hole. Okay, we move on to border then, and this is probably my favourite one, to be honest, because uh, it's something that I've made up all on my own. You know a lot of other things you see on Siege, you see some, like, bit of inspiration where you're like, alright, well, I've, maybe I could put a canister there, but this is something that I came up myself, and I'm really proud of it, alright? So, what you need to do is we want to get up on this land, uh, up on, the, on top of this cupboard here. We go up down the side of the monitor, get rid of these boxes, and you need to sprint and do a bit of a wiggle as you sprint, and you'll get up top. Get rid of that box as well. Just a point of note, if you get rid of that monitor, if you punch or shoot that monitor, you won't be able to get up there. So make sure you do this before that monitor gets destroyed. So up you get again. So what we want to do is, more often than not now in um, in border, the east take, as in like attacking from the east, as you see the, the compass at the bottom, we're looking eastwards. The east take is far more popular, in my opinion, than what people do on the, the main breach, the other side of uh, uh, the other side of the site there. So what you'll find is you'll get like a glass and a ying, and a Monty will come to this area and will smoke out and flash out whilst the Monty plants here. And it's really hard to retake because other than the window that's there, other than that window, there's not like much of a way of getting in behind uh, the, the attackers that are holding the plant, which is there. You can't really long arm it from there. It's, you get shot from the window still anyway. It's just a really difficult place to defend. However, that's where I come in. So 
first things first, you want to get one canister on the wall above the cabinet here. Now, this canister isn't as good as the other canisters because it can be shot from the window. So you don't necessarily have to put that one there. Although I do like doing that one. Because it lets the attackers know you're there. Right, now the other three, we're going to line along this cabinet, okay? Now, it's pretty tricky to do. What you've got to do is look to the left. So you want the canister facing this way towards the side, not towards the window. And you can't put them down at 90 degrees. You've got to put them on a bit of an angle. So you want to put them like this and they'll fall forwards like so. Oh, well, I'll let go of that too early. So ignore that. Like this angle here. Make sure you keep your mouse button held until they're pressed. And you want to get... Oh, I nearly fell then. And as you can see, they're not the easiest thing to put down. Come on. Do this without falling. There we go. That's all four down. Now, why have we put them there? Well, I'll show you. So when you're defending and you're in this area here, you can see you can still see the top of the canisters. You can see this one on the wall the easiest. Now, the thing is, this is going to fill this area here with fire because the fire is going to spill down this side. Now, you've got to bear in mind, it's also going to spill this side as well. So just make a sort of mental note. The hatch line, like that there, don't go in that area. It does actually end up being a little bit further, I think. But let's have a look. So the first one, you can see the fire spills down. It's roughly in line with the hatch. However, no one's planting there unless you want to stand in flames. The next ones, these are much trickier to hit, but you still can hit them. Obviously, you only have a small area to hit. But you get the point. It's the same with these other two. I'll show you the last one with this one to show you that it's still the same area. So, yeah, as we're doing this, you know no one can push through this wall. You know the Monty isn't pushing through to plant there. If we just wait for that second canister to burn out, which must have been 20 seconds ago at some point now. God, they last for so long, don't you? Even when you know. So, even that one. Pop that one. This one obviously pushes a bit further this way. As you can see, still can't plant on the door. <laughs> still pretty toasty over there. So, um, yeah, there's a good way of stopping these take. Again, it's uh, as if I've just missed that. <laughs> right, so just a point of note based on the fact that I've just missed that. It is pretty tricky to do this in the heat of battle, so just make sure you take your time. Make sure you get the shot right. But yeah, as it again, you, you ain't planting there without burning your toes. So yeah, there you go. That's border. So as you can see, we've moved on to chalet now, and the whole point of this video really is to just try and help you defend areas which are notoriously difficult to defend, or try and stop plants which are notoriously difficult to stop. So like we saw on Bank, really tough one to stop down there in the basement, and chalet is no different. Once an attacker gets into this area here, really difficult to stop. You, you do make feet holes here and here to try and, uh, to try and prevent this, but it's still really difficult to stop regardless. So what we can do, if you, let me just show you first. If you put a canister here on the half wall, we just jump up here to get out of the way. If we shoot this canister, you can see that the flames only go there. They don't stop. They don't go to the other side, and they don't stop the half wall plant. Now, if you just talk amongst yourselves for 20 seconds, I'll show you something cool. <laughs> just got to wait for these flames to go out, and I'll show you. Now, let me just tell you in advance, this may take a couple of tries to get it placed down, but we're going to place two canisters on this pillar, which doesn't sound that difficult. But it's really, really, tiff uh, really, really tricky to get right. So the first one, you want to have it as high up as you can. And you're going to have to do a bit of wiggling around to get it on this. But you can place it just here. That's the easy way. But that doesn't mean, that means you can't get two on. So you need to get it as high up as you can. And it is quite tricky to, uh, to get the right angle. To make sure you get it as high up as you can. That looks about right. That's right. So now what we want to try and do now is place another canister here. The problem with that is... It's too low to place while standing, and if you place it while you're crouched, it's like, it, sorry, it's too high to be placed when you're crouched and too low to be placed when you're standing. What you have to practice is the timing of crouching or standing up as you go to place it. And as you do that, it'll put it just underneath the original canister. You can see the button's popping up. I'm just missing it slightly. Um, that's too low. Oh, no, that was right. I had it. So it needs to go directly under the other canister. That's too low. Also too low. Is that going to move up? No. So now the, you can do it either crouching and then standing. You've got to get the... Like I said, this might take a while. There we go. That's what we want to. So with a bit of practice and a bit of a crouch in between, you can see that we've got two. The key is that they need to be over this beam here. They need to be over the half or at least a portion of the canister needs to be over. So now... We've now got 40 seconds of fire here, and if we jump up on here and mind our feet, you can see that. Ah! Ah! 
you can see that, I don't know, that was the worst scream that I've ever done in my entire life. Let's not pretend that ever happened. The point is, you can see from there that the fire extends over to the half wall. Now, for the next one, I'm going to have to go and stand on the other side to give you a better view. But you can see the top one definitely stops the half wall plant. I should be dying out any second now. And if I move here and pop this one and jump down, you can see the second one also stops the half wall plant as well. So, you've got to do a bit of, uh, sort of like... Getting the timing right of it, a jiggery pokery to make sure you've got the, the crouch and then the placement, uh, get the placement down. The timing can be a bit tricky, but once you've done it a few times, you'll have it down, no problem. That's going to stop anyone for 40 seconds planting in that half wall. Now, just to add on to this, that they could plant here outside of the fire. Obviously, you can see from here, you've got a much easier angle if you're holding it from bookshelves. Also, those, um, those canisters on the wall can be... Make a small line of sight here. You can shoot the two canisters from there and there, or... If you play in this area here, they can be shot from there and there too. So, just yeah, make sure you've got an angle to get rid of those canisters or to shoot those canisters, sorry, and any one half wall. You're going to toast them. If they do not plant on half wall and they plant further back, like we just said, you can see there, you're going to get an angle on them anyway. Good luck. Now we move on to Oregon and we get the opportunity of shooting the radio. GM. Right then, this is all about defending Attic on Oregon, and what we're going to do is a sort of staged retreat, so to speak, for anyone that's pushing from Attic. We're going to have a canister here on the on the blue top. Now, what we want to do is put it as far over to the right-hand side as we can, so this bottom area here underneath where I'm standing also fills with fire. So um, put it, if you put it over to the left-hand side, there's no guarantee it's going to stretch that far. I think it'd be pretty close. If you put it on the right-hand side, this walkway here where the attackers push down will definitely cover with fire as well, so put the first one there the second one we put down here now what we don't want to do is put it on the wall because this isn't going to spread the fire as far as it could do in this direction here we want the fire to spread all over this drop so we're gonna to have to put it on the floor a little bit closer still in cover so the attackers can't see it underneath the step here just like so and that gives us two steps of, uh, of retreat so to speak when we're playing down here and we see the wall get open, there's probably going to be a couple of nades that come our way because that's people, what, yeah, what people usually do when they're attacking Attic. So I have an ADS or a Wamai up on the uh, on the side here. So, yeah, absorb a couple of nades. Pop the first one. Give yourself 20 seconds. Get a bit fruity a little bit if you want to, but don't risk your life. And then as uh, the push comes down Attic, which it inevitably will, you back off, you pop that one, and move back into kids. And again, what I would do with the two more that you've got left is probably put another one on the drop as well. So you completely stop them from dropping for at least 40 seconds whilst defending in here. By the way, if you everyone reinforces this side panel. However, if you there's two reasons. This is completely nothing to do with Goyo, by the way. There's two reasons not to reinforce it. One, if you play in lower elo, you can make a push hole here to watch the attic drop. And no one ever looks there when they come around the corner. Everyone looks at the rotate. Because everyone's so worried about the uh, angle that you can get from behind the bed and on top of the, on the um, drawers there. No one ever looks there when you first peek it. I think it's pretty well hidden. That's your first point. The second point is if you make a small hole here, like that, and then you see there's a, over the bomb chassis, there's another like a line of sight over this way. If we go and open this area here as well. You can hold big window from this power point as well. So you see there, there's a good angle over onto it. Open that as well. So much easier with a shotgun. I should be using the TCSG on Goyo for this. You can see there, that's big window. You can see big window there. That's open now. You can see you can open a, a line of sight a bit longer this way and a bit longer that way, and you can hold the entirety of big window. You don't want to just be studio like this, obviously, use the bomb for cover. But it means you can hold that, and you can hold from here, and you can hold the breach if you need to. There's a real power position being in here. Obviously, don't stand here if the breach is open, because you're going to die. But my point is, in this one spot, you're holding Attic. You can hold the Breach, you can hold the uh, the Games window, you can hold Trophy window, and you can hold Big window. And you can even step through here and do a bit of wide stairs as well. This area here is just so, so powerful. And if not this area, then just where we are now. But anyway, my point is, use that one, then use this one. And then finally, I think I saw this in a Timsy video on an Astralis video. When I was making videos for Astralis like six months ago. Um, when it comes to protecting white stairs as well because the white stairs push usually comes late and it's either like really early in the round like a rush or late in the round as a uh, as a sort of a, a last resort type thing but you don't want to be putting the goyo canister on the wall here because it can be shot from the bottom of white stairs so as the attackers coming up they can go oh actually yeah let's shoot that we don't want that it was if you put it on the floor like so like so 
it can't be seen as they're coming up the stairs. So as they're coming up the stairs, they're worried about here. You don't even see it as you're coming up the stairs. Obviously, whilst you're still defending kids here, you'll pop this one, pop this one into the tree. Oh, actually, crap, there might be someone coming up wide. Don't worry about why for 20 seconds. No, imagine that. You've got 20 seconds left in the round and someone says, yeah, the bottom white stairs, and you go, boink, and you go, right, thanks very much. That's the round one, see you in a bit. So, yeah, that's a uh, way to defend Oregon Attic. So there we go. There's some extra strats for Goyo there across a few different maps. I'm particularly proud of the border one. You might notice that. Definitely play Goyo more. He's absolutely class. Unreal gadget, unreal gun, great secondary gadget. He needs to be used more. For those of you that don't know, I also stream over at Twitch as well. Four days a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday from 8 p.m. UK time. My name on Twitch is exactly the same as my name below here. So go and give us a follow over there as well. We only play ranks on stream and I'd really appreciate it if he came by. So go and follow it like right now. Nice one. Other than that, that wraps us up for this time. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.